Hello, my name is Miss Adogo and I'm going to be a nurse for today. Can you verify your name and date of birth for me? John Doe, June 11, 1982. Thank you. Um, can I borrow your arm for a second? Okay, I see we have John Doe, June 11, 1982. Thank you for that. And here my hands are clean. I'm going to go ahead and clean my equipment while I'm cleaning my equipment. Can you verify uh, the date, today's date for me? Today is 19 January 2023. Thank you. Uh, where are we today? The clinic. Good. And what are we doing today? A physical health assessment. That is good. A physical health assessment. And who is the president? Joe Biden. Good. So it shows you're oriented to place, um, time, situation, and person. That is good. And my hands are clean. Equipment is clean. I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. So we're doing a health assessment today. I'm going to be starting from your head down to your toes. At any point in time, there is any technique you don't feel comfortable with, do not hesitate to stop me and let me know. And we will reassess and before we continue, okay? And also, I'm going to close the door, provide privacy. Um, just so you know, in case of any emergency, um, a provider may come in, but I will definitely let you know, give you a heads up, um, preserve that privacy before anybody comes in, okay? All right, privacy is provided, and starting with the hand, checking for any lacerations, any cuts, any bumps, that is good. Moving on to the ears. Ears are bilaterally symmetrical, that is good. And I'm gonna have you relax so I can check your forehead for skin toga. Skin toga is normal, it means you are well hydrated. There is no dehydration, that's good. And I'm going to check your eyes, my pen light. And I'm gonna cut the lights off for a second, okay? Just to reassess. Just relax. That is good. That's perfect. Shows your pupils are equal around and reactive to light. That is perfect. Gonna take a look, take a peek into your nostrils. That's good. There's no drainage in the nostrils. That's good. And one more. Your mouth, can you open your mouth for me? Thank you. See, we have teeth, teeth intact. And let's see. Okay, I see that pink color in your mouth. That's good. Um, your tongue is good. Pink color, pink mucosa, moist, and your lips is moist also and pink. That is good. And moving on to your neck. Can you smile for me? That's good. All right. And feeling for temperature in the upper extremity. But temperature is warm. That is good. Normal temperature. And I will check bilateral. Um, Bilateral uh, radial pulses in both arms bilaterally. And I'm going to check for a full minute. Okay, we have 62, that's perfect. Pulse is good. And I will go ahead and check for capillary refills. Can I see your thumb? That is good. Capillary refills is less than three seconds. That is good. And I will go ahead and listen to your apical pulse. And I am going, uh, my perfect spot is Fifth in a costal space, mid clavicular. Okay. And I will listen to the apical pulse for a full minute. Going to look for my spot. 
first Pentecostal, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And it's fifth Pentecostal space, mid-clavicular. Mid We have six to four that is cut it's just a two difference which is great um also i will go ahead and check your skin for skin to go okay skin to go on the torso is normal there's no sign of dehydration that is good and right now i am going to listen to your lungs i will listen in all six fields um anterior and then on your back i will listen in six fields as well okay so i'm just gonna have you break normal for me On your back, I will listen in all six fields as well. Okay, perfect. Long sounds are bilaterally clear. That is a good sign. Okay, I am now going to check your abdomen. So if I have you lay down this way for me, please. I supplies down here. Okay, just gonna have you lay down. Your head go this way, while your feet go this other way. Perfect. Okay, I will raise your shirt up here, and for the abdomen. Or you can put your hand to your side. Okay. I will inspect, auscultate before I palpate. Um, I inspect abdomen is round. There is no distension. That is good. Um, are you in any pain? You have any abdominal pain? Okay. That's no. good. I am going to listen for your vowel sounds. We have active bowel movement, active bowel sound. That is great. I will go ahead and palpate your abdomen. At any point in time you feel any pain, just let me know so I can start, okay? Okay. Okay. I will start with the right lower quadrant. Any pain with that? No. Okay. Right upper quadrant, any pain? No. Okay. Left upper quadrant, any pain? No. And left lower quadrant. Any pain with that? No. Okay, that is good. Dominant assessment is great. I'm going to have you sit up. Be careful. Okay. I just have to make sure you feel safe so you don't fall on me. Okay. All right, moving on to the lower extremity. Feel temperature. Temperature is normal. And I will go ahead and feel for the beta pulses 
Great. We have regular pedal pulses bilaterally. That is good. And I will check for capillary refill. Capillary refill is less than three seconds. That is good. So I will go ahead and check for sensation in your lower left, lower left extremity. Okay. okay. I'm going to have you close your eyes. I will touch any part of your lower extremity and you just let me know what I'm touching. Okay. Okay. All right. Shin. Left shin. All right. Small toe, left big toe. That is good. You can open your eyes. Okay. And I am going to check for range of motion. Okay. I'm going to have you step up. Stand up for me. Okay. And I'm going to have you. Can you lift your leg up? One leg at a time. Good. And switch. That is good. And I'm going to have you stand so shoulder width apart. And I'm going to have you bend and touch your toes. Good. You stand back up. That is good. Range of motion is intact. I'm going to have you take a seat for me. That is great. Okay. I will take my gloves up and I am going to check for sensation. Wash my hand. I will check for sensation in. your upper extremity. But first, I'm gonna check for strength here, okay? I'm gonna have you push. Good, I'm gonna have you pull back. Good, I'm gonna have you push up. Good, push in. That is good, your strength is perfect on your lower extremity, you have that great strength. And for your upper extremity, I'm gonna have you close your eyes. I will touch a part of your upper extremity and you just let me know what I'm touching, okay? Okay. My right forearm, my left thumb, my right index finger. Okay, you can open your eyes. That is good. Your your sensation is intact on the upper extremity. And I'm going to take uh, check for strength also. I'm going to have you push up for me. Good, push down. Good, push up. Good. Now have you push in. That is good. And can you squeeze my two fingers? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, that is good. Okay. Your strength is intact on the upper extremity. So it looks like um, we are pretty much good to go with our assessment head to toe. Um, also, let me wash my hand and clean my equipment here. Okay. And you did great on the assessment as well. And so if I remember correctly, uh, last week when we did the uh, trial health assessment, um, you off camera, you asked you, you had some questions about uh, cholesterol levels. Um, you said um, you had labs done and your doctor told you um, you need to kind of watch what you eat. I just want to piggyback on that. So your cholesterol, like a waxy fat substance, that our body makes it releases in our bloodstream so also when we eat some foods we also acquire those we have the ldl low density cholesterol and the hdl the high density cholesterol we always want to have the high but not the low because um when we have too much of the low based on the numbers lab values um that fat kind of goes out in our bloodstream and before you know it it clogs our arteries then we start a chance of um, we have high risk of stroke or heart attack that is why we don't want to get more of that how can we limit that how can we try to reduce intake of the low density first regular exercising you eat healthy diet and also try to reach and maintain a healthy weight okay like foods you eat lots of fruits and vegetables um stay away from fried foods and try to watch pretty much you know just eat healthy food um i just want to make sure you understand what i just said just based on my brief teaching about that cholesterol um if you can just say something back to me well you said i have very like i have made a comment about my cholesterol level because of what the doctor said and i have a high ldl low density cholesterol instead of having a high I'm supposed to have a low, uh, a high, high density cholesterol, but I have more yeah. of the low, okay. 
density cholesterol and the reason is because of um, the type of food that I eat and you recommend or the doctor recommended that I eat more of uh, fruits and vegetables and eat more of healthy diet food, stay away from fried food, stay away from fatty food and do a lot of exercise. Right, so just yeah, piggybacking on the doctor, lots of uh, vegetables, stay away from the fried foods, uh, anything fried, you know, we don't want a lot of that and uh, we should be good. And also we have so many resources on the American Heart Association website. Um, you can, at your own time, just feel free and take a look in. If you have any more questions, we are here and I know your doctor is a great resource for you as well. Do you have any more questions for me? No. Okay, well, I thank you so much. I appreciate your time and you have a good day. Thank you. <laughs>